Hello, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Sam Nugent and John Kay. Our headlines for you today. Well, emergency services in Cumbria said last night they were on standby for a major incident with a number of flood warnings and alerts issued across the county after heavy rainfall. There's also been disruption to travel. In a moment, we will speak... And another royal health story. That's right, John. Yes, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, has been diagnosed with skin cancer. Doctors found a malignant melanoma after several moles were removed during her treatment for breast cancer last year. But her spokesperson said the 64-year-old is in good spirits, as our royal correspondent, Daniela Ralph, reports. Head teachers in England will start being contacted about new inspections at their schools from today. Changes are being brought in by the school's inspector Ofsted after an inspection was found to have contributed to the suicide of primary head teacher Ruth Perry last year. Here's our education editor, Bramwyn Jeffries. A post-mortem has revealed that two adults in a family of four found dead in a house in Norfolk both died from stab wounds to the neck. Israel's Prime Minister has rejected conditions set out by Hamas, which the UK regards as a terrorist organisation, for the release of Israeli hostages taken during its attack in October. More than 40 MPs, including several former Conservative ministers, have written to Rishi Sunak, urging him to provide extra funding for local councils in England in order to prevent major cuts to services from April. Our political correspondent, Hannah Miller, reports. 16 minutes past six and we've got to talk to Carol because she's going to tell us about the after effects of storm. And at a quarter past eight this morning, we will be speaking to two people who had their lives turned upside down by the Windrush scandal and hear from a former Home Office advisor who helped design the compensation scheme for victims. 22 minutes past six. Let's have a look at the, some of the Monday morning papers, shall we? We mentioned uh, Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson and her health scare. We also, in the last week, have talked about the Princess of Wales, Kate, and also King Charles. And King Charles will undergo treatment this week for an enlarged prostate. The announcement from Buckingham Palace last week has caused a surge of interest about that condition. Yes, the charity Prostate Cancer UK says the King's transparency about what is a benign and very common condition has encouraged other men to get checked. We're joined now by Chief Executive of the charity. 28 minutes past six, that means it's time to get the news, the travel and the weather where you are. Although, as you say, prostate cancer and enlarged prostate, totally separate yeah. health issues... I guess some of the symptoms are similar, so you have to think about both while you're diagnosing either. I think that's right. So, In terms of screening yep. for men, what, what is there? So at the moment there isn't a systematic screening uh, progress. The risk checker is a starting point, but then seeking advice from their GP because they're, nobody thought that I would get a call when I got to 50 and I'd be called in for some kind of check and that call never came. And that's one of the myths, I think. That's one of the yeah. issues. Is it to you that the King has... Laura Kirby, thank you so much for coming in and talking. Just We're remind hoping. us, the checker is...